Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome! Happy Holidays and Happy New Year to everyone! I hope you had a great time with your loved ones, I sure did myself and now let's get back to making videos so we can make our backend for our games. In the last episode we did a login system, a very basic one, and we used users that we created manually here in our database. Today we're going to learn how to register new users from the Unity interface and check whether the user exists or not before creating it. After that we can try to log in with the users that we just created. Before we continue I want to deeply thank all of my subscribers and especially those of you who support me on Patreon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your views, all your likes, all your comments. They really help me a lot. So now let's begin with the video. We're going to start with a PHP file that needs to search the user that we're trying to create. If it exists, it's going to tell us that we cannot create that user because it already exists. And if we don't find it, we're going to insert that user and that password into our database. To do that, our new script is going to be based on our login.php script. So we're going to copy all of this. We're going to create a new file. We're going to paste this and save it as here in the Unity Backend Tutorial folder. We're going to call it, um, first it has to be a PHP file and we're going to call it register user.php. And we base it on this because we're also going to need a login user and a login password that we're going to use in our query. However, we're not going to be selecting only, we also need to use this, insert data into a MySQL database. So we're saying that we're going to insert into this table in the following columns, so first name, last name, and email, the values John Doe and John at example.com. So that's an example, and actually we did this when we did it manually here in uh, my admin, when we went to SQL and we did an insert, do you remember this? That's how we manually added our users. So we actually have to do the same thing, but from a script in our server, and we will be done. So let's go back to uh, Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we want to change here is in the query. Instead of selecting the password, we're going to select the username from the table users where username is equal to the login user that we are trying to create. Here is if we actually found the user inside here, if the result is more than zero. So here we're going to tell the user, um, tell user that that name is already taken. And we're not going to do any of this. Because if the result is greater than zero, that means the user already exists and we don't want to do anything. So, and this as well, goodbye. So now here, else. So if there is any result, that means this is greater than zero, the username does not exist. And that is what we want in order to be able to create the username. So here we're going to insert the user and password into the database. So how are we going to do this? We can simply echo here that the username is already taken and then it's going to jump to close connection and the script is going to finish. So if the username does not exist, we're going to create a new user, so creating user, and we're going to make our new query here. So if we go back to here, we can see how the query is done. We're going to copy it and I'm just going to paste it here and we need to change the values here and also I would like to change we don't necessarily have to change this variable name we can reuse this variable 
or you can call it SQL2 if you want to keep them separate. So SQL2 is equals to insert into users and we have username and password and also email if we actually ask the user to give us an email or a phone number or whatever you want. Right now I'm going to check my database to see what it has. It has a username and a password. We don't have an email. That's the place to do it if you actually want to have an email or a phone number. So username and password. And we're going to insert the following values. So the values are going to be like here. So we're going to copy this. And instead of John, the username is going to be login user, comma, and instead of all this, this is going to be login pass. So remember, we need this, uh, we need to concatenate, and then this means that we're actually wrapping this whole variable. So login user and login pass. And this is actually just one line of text with a enter in between, so you can see it all, but it's something like that. Insert into the table users in the columns username and password the following values. Uh, login user and login pass. And the other values, I'm not sure if they're going to be set by default. If we don't set them, um, we could definitely try, and if nothing happens, you also have to set them. You can actually set them here, like the following um, level and uh, coins. And then you can set them to a default value, like level one and coins is zero, something like that. So now we just need to run this query that we created. We're going to do it like here in the example with an if and else. So right here. So we're going to use the connection to run this query, SQL2, and if it returns true, we're going to echo new record created successfully, else we're going to show what error happened and any connection error that there is. After we do all this, we're going to close the connection, and that's it. So it was very simple, it was very similar to our login.php. Now let's go back to Unity here in our web script. We have our web functions, so we have get date, get users, login. We're going to copy the login function and we're just going to make it simple. We're going to call it register user. So we still need a username and a password. We're going to change this though. The login PHP file is going to be, what did I call it in here? I call it register user. So, okay, we're being consistent with the naming. So here, register user.php. And we use the form that we made here. See if there is any error and we're going to debug any response from that script. Like the username already exists or something like that. Now we need to start this coroutine. I'm not going to log in this time. I'm not going to get the users. I'm just going to try to create a user. I'm going to try to create a user that I know it doesn't exist. I remember here, change this to uh, register user. So I know the test user three does not exist. As you can see here in our database, we have test user and test user two. So if we run this in Unity, let's try it. Creating new user, new record created successfully. So now if we go and check our backend, if we refresh this, there is the new test user three that we created. And if we try to run this one more time, because the user is already created, we should get username is already taken and nothing happened in our database. And that's basically how we create users for our database. Of course, we need to make a more fancy system 
with a UI where we can type our username, we need to verify that the password matches. Uh, we could also include an email and try to send an email for verification. Uh, if you guys want to learn how to do an email verification system, we can try to learn that together. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you want to see that. That is for this video, guys. I hope uh, it was not too short or it was not too confusing. Please, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button and the subscription button. And don't forget to tell your friends about my videos. Thank you so much, guys. I am actually quite free, so I'm going to be making more videos during the week. Uh, hopefully, we can finish this series as soon as possible. And again, Happy New Year, guys. I hope this 2019 is going to be full of success for everyone. And I will see you all on the next one. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.